Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to uh, Castlevania. The Lords of Shadow. Uh, so it's been like a full month since I recorded this. Uh, and it's been like a week since I played it, because I did go back on and do some grinding like I said I would. Oh yeah. Fate has played its hand, and now the die is set. I knew this child would play her part somehow, and it seems Gabriel uh, so has So in order to scratch my last, Castlevania itch, I actually went back and played through all quest. of Symphony of the, the Night. The golem that protects the girl like has something ago. that could prove very useful in the end. Something unforeseen. My dear friend, I see your destiny before me, and it is terrible indeed. And yet I have trust that all will be as I have hoped. All right. Turn your back down, Patty Stew. Yeah, I was literally just like in the mood for some goddamn Castlevania. Um, <laughs> and like, I I wasn't recording this game for fast enough. Of years, this city overflowed with life. It was a sanctuary of magic. And and then I was like, you know what? I will. I will play Symphony of the Night. So we bought the game, which is like, I think, Castlevania Requiem Collection for PS4. Uh, and I played a little of Rondo of Blood, but I'm not very good at it, naturally. What is the difference between a goblin and a gremlin? I think we already saw this, but I want the catch up. The battle lasted centuries until there was no stone left standing. No one left. Those that did not die in battle were captured and devoured. I do like this art. I don't think I comment on, on, uh, on it yet. He hid me. He created the Black Knight to be my protector. So how long ago was this? Was it like 20 years or are you immortal? The Titans outlived their creators and stayed... Because like it would make sense, but you're not very old looking. Until even they were defeated. I don't know. All except one. Behind those doors awaits the last of those titans. Yeah, time for another Shadow of the Colossus fight. The only way to reach the Does it really the take that much stress off your knees to backflip off of everything? We wish to continue our journey. The door will only open with the power of a crystal. You need to find four shards to create a whole crystal. We will wait for you here while you look for them. The places oh boy. where crystal shards grow are purple in color. Claude is a mute orphan girl who lives in the ruins of Agartha, the destroyed capital of a once great civilization. The race that once created the city lived very long lives. Oh, well, there you go. And Claudia shares this trait. Uh, having endured innumerable years of dust and decay, she developed telepathic powers by communicating with her loyal guardian, the Black Knight. Ancient form of communication favored by her ancestors, the strong bond she developed with her armor protector saved them on many occasions. She's brave and carefree, unafraid to confront the danger. Deep within her is a sadness that will never leave her, the loss of her beloved father. You need four shards, four shards to create to one whole crystal. crystal. Alright. Okay. Are we not going to get a boss fight against you? I wonder if we are, though. We honestly might. Alright. Complete Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, I remember getting stuck here and then I went to bed. Honestly, bad place to leave. Where should I be going? I feel like this way makes the most sense. Like, they've put the camera in such a weird place because I feel like I should be, like, walking towards the screen. Alright, so that's just a dagger. We don't have time to lose, Gabriel. Find the areas where crystal shards grow. I... I assure you I'm trying. Is 
Is it over here? Oh, that's so weird. Why is the camera put like that? You'd think that they would arrange it in a way... I probably did that before. Don't mind me. Man, if you want to play a game where you whip a bunch of werewolves... I think you'll be disappointed. I think most people who hear that would be disappointed by this game. But if you want to play like a decent Castlevania game, this is your man. For the legend of the necromantic wars and the advanced civilizations of the Yagardians, it is said one of their titans of war lies near this parts. Up to God the Dark Lord never finds and uses the behemoths. They're easily capable of destroying entire cities. But what if one guy throws a little knife to another guy and then he stabs that thing in the ear? Um, this is where I'm sitting, by the way. Oops. I will say... God damn you. Oh my god, I did way more of this than I thought I had. Go in search of the areas where the crystal shards grow. I assure you, I know. But yeah, um, on the day that another episode of Castlevania was supposed to come out, uh, that video that I made for Mother's Day came out. You should definitely watch it, unless you're my dad. Um, luckily, my dad doesn't watch my videos. Oh, rat! Uh-huh. Okay. That's not like a tiny jump. So I actually learned there was an intent to do a system like this where you have your good magic and your evil magic as uh, early as Symphony of the Night. Um, Symphony of the Night, all Castlevanias obviously use a lot of D&D &D in them because like you got your levels, you got a bunch of like mythology stolen from all, all over the place. The, j the dodge doesn't feel like it cancels much. That's something of a shame. I do like canceling out of out of stuff with a dodge. Does that not do anywhere? Oh, hello. What's in here? Can I not go in here? We don't have time to lose, Gabriel. Find the areas where crystal shards grow. What do you mean we don't have time to lose? Hasn't this fucking civilization been, like, shattered for a thousand years? I feel like this is, uh, we have ample time here. Like, is this place getting older? Technically, I guess it is. That feels really good. Wow. I like filled my combo meter and everything. Hot ziggity. I'll upgrade your combat cross. You found a crystal shot. We need three more now. Shui. Now, where should I go from here? The lack of camera controls is a little annoying, I will say. This was definitely a time when camera controls had been standardized and only like really weird games. Like, I would say Devil May Cry 4 is a weird game. Only Devil May Cry 4 and a couple other games like that did not have proper camera controls. Oh, shway. Um, 
what, the sack is just full of daggers? That's kind of funny. Um, but Devil May Cry 4 even has a little bit of limited camera control. It just doesn't have, like, proper, real, honest camera control like most games at the time would. And, like, later games in Devil May Cry even give you that full camera control proper. So it's a little uh, unclear as to why 4 doesn't do it, besides the fact that, like, that game got rushed like nuts. So what's going on over here? Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. I'm aware. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, so where are we heading from here? This way? No, we came from here. Can we go over here more? Hmm. Strange. Uh, that's a shame. All right, one moment. All right. Explode around a little bit. I did not actually use, like, any walkthroughs this time. I'm normally no stranger to that, but... Now I just need to remember the inputs to actually do this. <laughs> Though it looks like I don't remember. How does... Okay, there we go. Now I only kind of know how to do it. Um, that's a little obtuse. Again, like, it is notoriously hard to get somebody to look up in a video game. Woo! Uh, getting a player to look up is one of the hardest things to do in game design. And it's very difficult to get the player to... D oh, yeah. It's difficult to get the player to do Remember, that, which is why... Oh, we we're good. Still need three more which is why a lot of games don't use a lot of verticality, even though it would be cooler if they did. So I was uh, learning about Symphony of the Night because there's a lot of hidden stuff in that game that I never knew. Some of it's like basic stuff. Like I would think about posts uh, about Minecraft where they're like, the giant used to be this thing. And I'm like, ah, of course I know that. Everyone knows that. Duh. Um... And then, like, I was looking at these posts about Symphony of the Night, and I realized that that's how those must look. That's how those, like, posts of, like, hey, idiot, these are these things, must look to people who don't know. Like, I didn't know basic stuff, like what the, the Devil Familiar does. I didn't know that you could wield the sword familiar. Remember, I'd like Castlevania, but that in no way means that I'm good at it. I just really like the art, the music. Remember, Some of the gameplay is really we good. Still need three more crystal shards. Like, I want to capitalize on this so hard. Oh, hey.
That animation looks a little silly. Um, so learning deeper stuff. There were actually, damn. He telegraphed that so hard and I didn't listen. That's on me. Uh, there was actually a mechanic where Alucard would have a... Uh, Alucard would have a, a... Uh, an alignment. Like a and d style alignment. And it would be based on if uh, you had used more more magic, which is, you know, demonic and Dracula related. And like a lot of the spells that Alucard has access to in those games are actually um, moves that Dracula has done in his various boss fights. Most famously, that little thing where he like lifts his cloak and shoots out three, of, uh, three fireballs or two large fireballs. Like that's Alucard's most basic spell. And that's Drac's only attack in the NES game. And so, you know, you can logically see Alucard using his demonic power and, like, his vampiric heritage and all that jazz. You can see why he would think that that's bad. Because Alucard has this whole thing about, like, oh, they've got to steal these powers away. They're bad and they make you me bad. We need two more. I feel like these aren't really hidden in awesome places. Maybe they're not supposed to be hidden. Maybe they're just, you know, they're just here, but whatever. Oh. Well, that's rather simple. Excellent. Yeah, it's kind of strange that they would put like one right there and then one right afterwards. Can't break it on my own. Got to have the Black Knight. Am I going to get like a Black Knight writing thing? Uh More of you. All right. Um, so yeah, using those would make you evil and make your, your evil meter go up. Oh, misread that. Because it's like a misuse of your demonic power and stuff. Uh, and then the opposite would be your sub weapons, like your, you know, your knife, your axe. I feel like there's a lot of weird sub weapons that are introduced in Symphony of the Night, but I feel like they're actually just from, like, Bloodlines or something, and I wouldn't know. Because, like, who played Bloodlines? And, like, Bloodlines is good, but who played Bloodlines? There is only one shard left. I'm a little busy here. How do we do this? Okay. There we go. Getting some good shake. All right, is there anything else that I need you for? Just in case I can't kill you and I still need you. Doesn't look that way. Doesn't look that way. Cool. Have I missed a crystal? Oh. Hmm. Well, that ain't good. Especially because I jumped down for this. Oh. Buenos dias. Hint scroll. Uh, shadow filled gemstones to power different devices. The knowledge survives in the giant stone doors that block the chamber of the titans, which can be opened with the energy of a dark crystal. I can't find it. Well, now. 
Hey, so I went like 30 seconds onto the path forward. I literally just didn't grab this. Oh yeah, we're getting good, some good. We're getting some good things. Dark crystal with the crystal selected. Uh, hold B to destroy it, releasing the demon inside. This secondary weapon requires four shards, but is powerful enough to annihilate most enemies around you, and will damage the most massive and powerful of foes. The energy within a complete dark crystal can power ancient devices. So this is actually a sub weapon, and it gives you a stand. That art is so awesome. Holy shit. That's really cool. I'm just going to get this just because. Great. Now come back here. Do not waste the crystal or you'll have to find another one. That's a little weird that they would let you waste it. I don't know why that's a thing that can happen. I don't really think that that should be as well. Is this going to be like a thing where like... Because obviously it summons a stand. I can only assume that, you know, it's a it's a crazy, super awesome, like, screen clear, essentially. But it also unlocks these specific doors. And, like, I wonder if they'll just hide some stuff behind those doors. Which, of course, means that you'll never, ever want to use them. Though, I guess you can use them in, like, New Game Plus. What's, what's going on here? Is someone playing chess? Ah, yes, the big door. These statues seem to be here for a reason. Very descriptive. Huh. I think these statues can move somehow. Somehow. I can't figure out how. Look, God of Warhead puzzles. Konami wants puzzles. Raise me those lumps, boy. Konami wants its God of War. We need puzzles. Good work, oh, cool. That was what needed to happen. Can I get this? Okay, well, I hope I got that. So how do I select... Oh. Oh, I got it all. Which way? Sanctuary of Titans, the last part of chapter two. The um, of on the, the topic, what awaits them there I guess I should let Patty's two talk, but I don't really want to. Of the Been playing Maiden of Blackwater with the wife. The um, boy. And that game's no pretty good, but she likes now. it more than I do. The so she's playing it, and I'm watching. And I've got to say, and we shall see what occurs and who will it is a little weird bit. how, like, the child and her golem will in that help. game, for whatever and reason, I hope once the battle is like, won, they'll give you a synopsis of what happens. To do what You'll is watch necessary. a cutscene of what happens, necessary for and then they'll give you another synopsis of what happens. For there is still the matter of the Like, Lords sometimes you will get multiple notes explaining what just happened in the cutscene. They've only been, like, really useful once, you know? Where it was just a little unclear what happened. Also, for whatever reason, the levels in that are called drops. I assume because it's Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater. And it's like drops of the black water. So the first Titan was kind of... Eh. Should I call this episode, like, should I name this after the Titan? Because I named the Ice Titan episode after that. Or should I call it Dark Crystal, but not the movie, though? Yeah, I'll call it Dark Crystal, but not the movie. Yeah. Behind the scenes action. By the way, I just woke up like this. My hair was doing this. It's like 17th century peasant hair, you know? Interesting design. Oh, it's a lady with a huge chin guard. I like how that rock looks like it's just undulating. A little goofy.
cool. I feel like this could be happening a little fat. There we go. So, um... In addition to being God of War in combat, uh, the gods and titans... Oh, well, I guess I should say the Olympians, because everyone's the gods. But uh, the titans and Olympians in God of War, like specifically 1 through 3, are usually like... Really more like elementals than like a, a typical god. Like, even the gods in God of War 4 are portrayed more like standard gods. Whereas like, 1 through 3, the gods are like personifications of their thing, and sometimes they just happen to have a, a form that looks like a guy. Some of these, sometimes these are obvious, like... Gaia is a giant, like, woman made of, like, bushes and trees and... God, Jesus, wow. Don't get too close to the Titan. Okay. Stone Idol Titan. Uh, the Mage Smiths were an order of Agarian wizards who specialized in the creation of powerful artifacts. Their inventions were objects of common use, like magical clothing or enchanted weapons and armor. Mr. Best were the Titans. We know this. Built them against the war against the Dark Lords, but... Okay, so those are definitely coming in. Can I expect any help from you, or...? Whoa. Alright. These are very... These fight... The first fight was extremely trial and error -y. And I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't enjoy it, actually, but... Could have been a lot better. Um, so yeah, like, Gaia in God of War is, like, a woman who's made of a whole bunch of dirt, and she looks like a, like a, like, she's barely even humanoid. She barely has, like, a human shape. Or, like, Poseidon is an ocean with a, with a guy sitting in the middle of it. Okay, so that's important. Is that not, is that not what we're doing? Wait! And pick your moment, Gabriel! Okay. That one just went through me. I don't think it even dealt damage. My health's kind of low, but... So, uh, when are you going to run out and fall apart, dude? Oh, boy. Um, but... This design, more so than... More so than the Ice Titan, really reminds me of... Like, God of War style... Titans and Olympians. Yeah, I'll be honest. I really don't like these fights. Like, Keep away from it. Stay back. Shadow of the Colossus is very much like... Shadow of the Colossus is built up to, the, to be the best game where you run around stabbing, being the size of an ant and stabbing at a thing's weak points. Don't get too close like, it was to built Titan. ground up to do that perfectly and it does which is why it's so good because it was built to be that good and god of war has a completely antithetical combat style where it's like no your rage will be infinite and your fury will be everywhere so your your weapons will be everywhere and like you know, you're not focusing. You are this angry. You're you're just throwing your your weight around. Like this is spoilers for God of War 4. I know that it came out a couple of years ago, but I recommend it and you should play it. It's very good. But skip ahead like 30 seconds if you don't want to hear them. From now. Um, but in God of War 4, you pick up the Blades of Chaos again. And it's this significant story moment because, like, Kratos is going back to his old ways of fury and rage. And, like, whereas the Leviathan Axe is, like, focused and, and specific and, like, a patient weapon, the Blades of Chaos are exactly as they were. And they're an aggressive, vile, like, base, brutal, animalistic weapon. And Kratos' return to them is, you know, bad. All right. 
It's the end of the spoilers. But yeah, the Blades of Chaos in general are, are supposed to be this thing where it's like, don't focus, you know? You're wielding, like, whips with knives on them. Like spread, like, spread your fury around as far as it'll go. That's the purpose of them. Is there a place for me to jump onto you, sir? Oh, the dagger does da like the dammer's the dagger is doing enough damage for me to like actually Keep do something. Away from it. Stay back. Yeah, I feel like all of these fights have just been like complete trial and error with some old person yelling at you. Like Patrick Stewart in the first one and then this infinite old lady uh who still looks young in, in this one. your moment in order to climb up. What is the moment? <laughs> Alright, I literally read what I was supposed to do. You can throw the rocks back at it. I... I'm not sure what I missed, but... Yeah, at some point, like, whenever it throws the rocks at you, you just, if you're jumping and close, you can hit the... You can hit that the the do it button. You can hit the, the grab and whip button. And then, you know. Then you'll be able to throw the rocks. Like, I feel like there's so much trial and error here. And, like, I don't know. Because Shadow of the Colossus is about trial and error, but, like... There's almost nothing in God of War besides very specific puzzle elements... ...where I don't immediately grok what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and I feel like that's kind of weird. Because, like, in Shadow of the Colossus, like, sure, yes, that's fine. It's fine that I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing and that I'm confused. I'm in one of the most confusing games ever. That's fine. I'm happy for that. Alright, there we go. Like, I'm in a game that is built for confusion and, and like, refining your technique as you go. Kind of strange that you would go up one leg and then go down the other one. Whoops! All right, reset. Don't get too close to the Titan. Okay. Come on, throw your rocks, dude. Yeah, this is a little... Hmm. Yeah, like, I, I guess that's the thing, because if you're like, if you were to just combine two games chosen randomly from, you know, highlights of the PS2 era, they wouldn't necessarily go well together, you know? So yeah, that's that's it. The Titan is stunned. Gabriel, go! I I know. Please, you don't have to worry. Hmm? What's he hanging on to? Oh, there's a little thing. No, there isn't. Hey, over here! That's silly.
Thank God people far more competent than Gabriel Belmont helped him out. All right, let's start stabbing. Down here, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry. I'm gonna get tagged by all of those because... Pick your moment, Gabriel. Because, God, that was so stupid. <laughs> this isn't aliens. You shouldn't do that. You bitch. It's a big rock, like, humanoid. It's not exactly the most, like... You know... <laughs> Whoa, just why? Is your chance. Climb up. I feel like I should do the hard one first. Alright, I'm gonna pause this so that I can save the runtime of this episode. Alright, so far I've done this fight perfectly somehow. I can't wait to screw it up. Who to what now? Okay. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. But yeah, like, on both occasions when I was supposed to, like, get knocked off, I just didn't. Really wish that I could do that, uh, you know, while recording, but... Shit. Overzealous. Get too close to the Titan. That's okay. What would Castlevania be without a whole bunch of redoing what you've already done? Not a joke. I beat Castlevania 1 through cheating, and Castlevania 2 through uh, initially not through cheating, and then and then, like, I screwed up and didn't do it right. And, like, honestly, the Castlevania 2 thing was on me. I do want to go back and play Castlevania 3, but, like, I didn't get through Castlevania 1. Uh... Hello? The rock wasn't on my screen. I, I couldn't grab it. Oh, man. Okay, now please give me your hand specifically. The Titan is stunned. Gabriel, go! I feel like... Look, I know that you're trying to help me. And of course I appreciate that, but... Oh. Wait! Dude, this sucks. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I got out of the way though. Not cool. Wait, and pick your moment, Gabriel. Um. God. This is like. Arguably, this should be more fun and engaging because you're not balancing stamina. And in Shadow of the Colossus, of course, there's a big stamina problem, you know? Like, you have stamina, and it's not like a Dark Souls thing where, like, you're going to get tired after swinging a sword three times. And, like, look, maybe it's because you're undead, but I can swing a sword more times than my guy in Dark Souls. Granted, maybe that's a me thing. I did do that whole challenge where I, like, lived like my Morrowind character. And then I... I mean, I did two parts of it. And I only edited one part. Look, I got ADHD. It's hard. 
Oh, you go up. Well, that, okay. Well, now we're in Devil May Cry 4 again. Because this is the Sanctus fight. I feel like technically it should be easier. Because, like, you, you have uh, no stamina bar and, like, I don't know. Removing the stamina bar... And, like, by the way, again, that stamina bar makes a whole lot of sense because, like, it's hard to climb something, especially if it's moving. Gabriel, take this! That's kind of rad. I got, I got hyped there for a second. So what exactly did that do? Did that give it more power and make it weaker? Did it overload it? What's happening here? Oh man. <laughs> okay. We should rest. Night is coming. I know a place. Word. I hope I didn't miss any cutscenes or, or lines there, because that would be pretty stupid. Um, this is the optimized version of the game. It's the port for PC. It even says Ultimate Edition right there in the title. Where's the magic gem? Where could that possibly be? The Black Knight. A great victory. Gabriel has won the trust of the girl, and together they wield a fearsome power. She is so young, so beautiful. She's so young and beautiful. Life but is so fragile here. She's not young. Also, why do you care? And yet, in this unforgiving place, she has managed to survive with the help of her Black Knight protector. Sleep will come and take them soon. Tired and exhausted, they rest but this night. Fate once again comes calling, and I fear my friend will never be the same. Did they have, again. like, a whole bunch of stuff off screen that I didn't notice? Because, like, I don't feel like Patrick Stewart calling Gabriel, you know, my friend, every time he comes up. I don't know about that. Maybe I'm just... <laughs> Is that comfortable, honey? She's sleeping like a corpse on a slab. It's just a rock. Uh, wife number two. I knew the first time I touched your face. I have seen my fate. What? I am ready. Look at that feathering on Gaby's hair. Hot damn. Oh, hey. Do not let the darkness possess you, Gabriel. You must remove the gauntlet from the night. It is a key, and the moment will come when you will be in great need of it. But my gauntlets are already no. asymmetrical. I will have to continue without. I will not harm. I am afraid it is far too late for that. Do you want to point, or are you just going to, like... That's a very small amount of blood considering that she's been stabbed in the heart. No. No. You know, this is just how Dante's Inferno opens up. So, did I do that? Or did, did Zadok? No, you have to leave the knife in. Yeah, somehow I figured we weren't getting out of here without a fight against you. Here, let me smack you into this arena! Okay, I'm getting kind of hyped. I'm annoyed that, like, first and foremost, we've lost a character, and that, like... Like, G Gabriel's other, like, the only other woman that Gabriel knows has now been murdered. God. Yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about that, but whatever. 
Um, but I've been Alfred. This has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow Part 5, I think. Um, remember that my, my two-week break is coming up in a little bit. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Uh, until then, bye. Have a good day. I Look, this is the first episode I've recorded in a little while. I don't remember my normal in outro. I've been Alfred. I will still be after this episode, though. God, bye. Thank you.